morning and welcome to morning coffee in Kyoto today with the bear and kitchenware mug um, today I thought I would continue talking about United States tax and other monetary issues and another thing I want to teach you about is the F bar F B A R um, if you are living here and at any point during your duration of time living here if you're an American and you have more than ten thousand dollars in assets in a bank account or in a retirement account you have to go online and fill out um, an F bar it's through the United States government um, it is a foreign income reporting thing that you just you have to do um, I've known people who have kept giant stacks of cash in their house to avoid having to do this um, but if your retirement gets up over ten thousand dollars you need to do that as well I'm not talking about your retirement in the United States I'm talking about your retirement in Japan oh yeah sorry I forgot to say at the beginning if you're not American this doesn't apply well let's put it this way if you don't have a tax shelter or a tax identity in the United States this doesn't apply to you but if you do pay taxes in the United States or you are required to file um, independent of the IRS um, not tracked through your taxes there is FBAR F -bar, that you need to file out every year if you have more than ten thousand dollars in assets if you have a Japanese like post office account or a local bank like Nara Bank or Kyoto Bank or something is probably is something that has like slid you know by that you didn't even notice but if you have one of the bigger banks you actually had to fill out a um, reporting form when you signed up because the bigger banks have to report their American account, hold, account holders um, the, basically how much they have in their account to the United States and so people know if you are not filing your, your F bars every year um, it is a really easy thing to fill out um, you can download it and pretty much do it yourself I do it myself um, you fill out the form um, and then you just turn it in there's no fees you don't have to pay any taxes they just are tracking you as an American and how much you make. Yes, it is creepy. So maybe you should uh, look for people who are voting for such things and vote against them. Um, but, you know, Big Brother, Uncle Sam will track you and track your money. So you're required to report. And if you don't report, then you have to pay all of this stuff if you get caught. That's the thing, right? If you get caught. I know people who've been living here in Japan for years and years and years and still more than a decade and haven't paid their taxes and they haven't heard that they've been caught so they think that they're fine. But, like, that's just a pretty crazy dangerous way to live your life. So anyways, if your assets go over $10,000 in any one account, please go online Google FBAR and find the website that ends in .gov and file your FBARs if you're an American. Um, it's really, it really doesn't take too terribly long and then you're safe. Um, if you don't believe me, just go search on Reddit. You'll find a ton of people complaining about it. <laughs> Alright, that's one more piece of advice and I hope that you have a great day. And, um, yeah, talk to you later. Stay healthy, wear a mask, have a good day. Man. <sighs> My brain is not completely awake in the morning. <laughs> I should probably make these videos. Welcome to morning after coffee in Kyoto, so I can at least think. <laughs>